This is what we're looking for right now though. Flame heights of about a foot to two foot. I'm patrolling the line, making sure we're not getting any uh, spot fires on this side of the line. That's uh, my job right now, is watching this fire. And we're here at Forestry Summer Camp, and this is Fire Week, and the students are becoming uh, certified firefighters. This is an operational burn for instructional purposes, just teaching the students how to do it. We had 23 students here, and then we had eight other professionals coming from the State Forest Service, the Park Service, and the Nature Conservancy. They all were represented here to help and help instruct the students. We started with a briefing that was led by our burn boss, who is a student, and he's a senior. And he, he planned the whole thing. Then he, he told everybody what was going to happen, the strategy that we're following, and broke them up into three crews, and they all went in separate directions to do their assignments. Each crew was led by a professional who gave instruction throughout the whole thing. Now all you have to do to initiate this is turn the head of this thing down right on this outside edge. For the past week we've learned about fire behavior and we've learned about what to look for whenever we actually are out on the fire. So we were out here and we got the fire started and um, the professors and the other people assisting, they would start asking us questions to make sure we knew what was happening based on what we had been taught. Like the wind and how the wind is going to affect the behavior of the fire and how it may heat a stand nearby and you'll have the radiant heat coming off and then you may get spotting. So we've been able to apply the things that we have learned to this activity and it's been really beneficial, I think. I, I, that's how I learn. You're taught the things, but you can't, if you can't apply them, how can you really let them sink into your memory and know what to do if you're in that situation? Uh, the classroom, they're going to go over all the scenarios that you're going to see, but you're not really going to understand what it means when they're talking about it in the classroom until you get out and apply it in the field. You're not going to, you just don't get the real effect in the classroom, and you really need to be on fire to learn about fire, I'd say.